Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Koi Play's Minecraft Bucket List. And it turns out, as I was saying in the last episode, I was thinking of getting some glowstone and it turns out I've only got seven blocks of glowstone. Lucky me, right? Lucky me. So it looks like we're gonna have to go take a quick trip to the nether and see what kind of things I can get out of there regarding some glowstone. And I'm gonna probably just make a couple pickaxes because I don't quite have enough to go around. A um, couple pickaxes and at least a shovel. Uh, two shovels, why not? Um, eventually I need to make those out of diamonds. I don't quite have the diamond resources necessary, quite frankly, to make those. But this will work for me. And I'm going to go ahead and take some time to enchant those and see what else I've got. Um, oh, I'll take my emeralds. The emeralds can actually go in the other spot. Um, anything else? No, I don't think... Ah, uh, sure, I'll take the gunpowder. I don't need it right now. Okay, everybody. After a fun eventual event... I got, what, something like th almost three stacks of glowstone. I picked up some fruit leaves and some oak leaves I had laying around and a whole bunch of saplings. I also have a ton of bones because I did some AFK as well. And that should be enough to get me the wood that I need and enough to get me the um, leaves that I need. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna plant some plants. I guess they can grow in here, don't get me wrong, but I'm just gonna plant some plants in here and just essentially Hopefully I have a couple plants growing out of this. And I'm not sure how they're going to do, but we'll, we'll see in the end. Hopefully they grow. Hopefully they turn into something very, very useful. I'm um, not sure how they, how useful it will be, but um, we'll see. Um, in the meantime, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up on gaming news or anything like that, but I actually have not. Um, with the exception of No Man's Sky, that's really like the only one I've paid attention to. Um, a lot of the other games I have yet to realistically pay quite a bit of attention to. And it, it, it's unfortunately my fault. Yes, I know. Um, I've been kind of bad about that. I've been quite busy with work. Quite busy with daily life, you know. All of that has really, really, really... Oh, wow. That is super dark right there. Uh, let's go down a touch. Let's see. How close am I to the edge? I kind of want to know, maybe if I go to the that spot right there... That might do it. Let's start with this hole that just happened to be available right there. Yeah, so I know Nintendo's doing an NX console. I'm not sure what it is, and I'm right now just not really paying much attention to it because, again, I don't know what it is, right? So I figured I'd let Nintendo do its thing, and that will keep me from having to wait on things. But I, I'm just curious if you guys are interested in Nintendo. Is that something you would totally go for? Or is that something you probably wouldn't go for? Um, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but sure, let's let's see how this that this looks. I guess that could work. It's getting a little weird looking, but sure, I don't have any vines. Eventually I can put some vines on here and have it grow all the way down to the water. That would be super cool. Um, but yeah, I think that'll work right there. And what I could do is I could stick one more right there. Get this over here. Um, Stony, I know, has a PlayStation 4, but I want to say they want to build another console too. And I have no idea what they're planning either. And that's the other part of this too. It's like, what are these guys up to? All the console makers. It just seems like um, they're kind of just hanging out while Nintendo's doing their thing. Yeah, I think this could do it. I think this would do it. This doesn't have soak touch anymore, right? Hello, friend. You have come to visit me, haven't you? Oh my god, you're wearing gold armor. What's wrong with you, guy? Jeez. Okay, let's, let's kind of... Ow! He, he's attacking me. Okay, good. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away, get away. Come on. Come on, little guy. Ha ha! I'm safe up here. You can't get me now. I love that outfit. Oh my god, that is so adorable. I need to take a picture of this. Yes, just stand right there. Look towards the camera. Ow! Ow, what are you doing? Ah! Come back up here. Come on. Yeah, I want to take your picture. There we go. We got a cute little picture. I love that. That is the most adorable outfit ever. Can I just keep you? It'd be kind of cool if I could keep you. Uh... Let's see what I can do to keep you. 
Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, go this way, buddy. No more. Come on. This way. Okay, guys, if you're wondering, I did actually capture him. He did my little container here. I actually don't know if I can keep him. I'm betting he'll probably despawn whenever I log off, and that's going to be quite sad. Um, anyways, while he's talking over there and doing his thing, I just think that's the most adorable thing. Oh, good, my trees are growing. This is very nice. I already got this one here. I put some, like, leaves everywhere, and I just wanted to blend in a little bit as much as I could, so that way you can't really see the light as much. However, this one right here... I'm going to have to move it back a little bit. Let, let's just fix that very, very quickly, because this is just... I don't, I like where it is, I just don't like what it's doing. So maybe we stick it right there. Yeah, let's just bump it back one block, that would do. I think this was spruce? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a bit better. Actually, a bit better right there. Um, I can't get up, I can't get up. Yeah, so some of the things that I paid attention to in gaming news though is I heard about Microsoft and I heard Project Spark ended. Yes, that's right. That big multi whatever thingamajig that they were trying to aim for, I was quite surprised that they decided to shut it down. Um, Project Spark with the whole Microsoft thing and, and quite frankly, oh, Spruce One grew, very nice. Oh, I thought it was gonna make it. Um, let's see if I can get up there into that. That way I don't have to chop the whole thing down and regrow it. But yeah, it's Project Spark with this whole, whole Microsoft, I want to say Microsoft answer to Minecraft. And they just, in my opinion, Project Spark sure was successful, but it wasn't as successful as Minecraft was. So, you know, I can understand why they would shut it down, given that they own Micro Minecraft, and Minecraft is quite frankly a bigger business to work with. But it is still surprising that they decided to shut the doors, you know what I mean? It, it was quite a bit of a surprise. Another thing that I was actually quite surprised by is PlayStation doing a, what they call PlayStation Neo, right? I think I, I mentioned that kind of briefly earlier. Um, but PlayStation Neo is a console that's almost like the PlayStation 4 and a half. I mean, instead of waiting patiently until PlayStation 5 like they did with PlayStation 3, they're instead doing PlayStation Neo, which is a, a half-branded version of the full PlayStation and I don't know if that's something that's going to work or not. I'm sure people will buy it. Don't get me wrong. It will actually work for people that, you know, have been waiting on things, like waiting to get a PlayStation. So they get one that has better hard drive, better memory, whatever it is, you know. So that that will be a plus for some people. But, you know, for people that already own a PlayStation 4, it's kind of like, what's the point? Why should we get a PlayStation Neo? Unless they're PlayStation broke or whatever, right? I mean, it is possible. Don't get me wrong. There. Take that last piece right there. Um, let me get a, oh, I was going to put it up. Oh my gosh. Why did I, why did I do that? Oh my gosh. Okay. That was a waste. I got to chop this whole thing down again. Uh... The whole point of why I was going up there was to get to the roof and I didn't quite think of that through, did I? Uh... There it goes. Let me get up to the roof right around there and see what I can plug in with some lighting. I'm debating whether or not I should actually leave trees in here. It may actually have a cool effect to have a tree here. Um, but I don't know if it will work. Okay, I went too high. Let's go down at least one block. There we go. So we've got one light over there. I was thinking I could probably stick another light somewhere right over the house. But I can't technically get up there without this thing. Yeah, Xbox. Looks like Xbox is just going to keep doing what they usually do. And it doesn't sound like they're going to be doing anything different, quite frankly, at least as far as I can tell. Other than, you know, Battlefield 1, I am interested in how that game is going. It looks like they're doing homework behind that, which is super cool. So at least they're paying attention, you know, to what should be in a Battlefield game, which is actually a cool way to go, you know. So I'm interested to see where that game goes. It'll be quite interesting to find out if that game, you know, has, has potential or not. Right, and it's it, it's entirely possible it will have decent potential. It's also entirely possible it will just kind of flounder out, you know. Yeah, this lighting is turning out quite good. I should put some light maybe like right over there. Can I even get over there? Oh, more trees are growing. Yay. Um, I'm going to use all my dirt just to kind of wander around the roof here. Let me finish up the roof 
and I'll come right back. Um, actually, before I do E3, someone actually reminded me about E3. I was like, what? E3 coming? I completely forgot. Okay, yes, I did. Usually I'm jazzed about E3. Usually I pay attention to E3, but this time I was just like, what? There's an E3 coming? I just totally didn't, didn't, just, it didn't register as much as I thought it would. Um, but E3, I thought, was coming earlier, but I guess it's coming much, much later than it normally does. So that, that's the thing that kind of surprised me. Um, because I thought No Man's Sky would actually have a chance to do an E3 reveal one more time before the game comes out. And then I thought it was just gonna, I'm gonna put one hopefully right around whatever that thing is there. Yeah, I think this will do for up top lighting. I don't know if I need one more here. That'd be kind of nice. Definitely one where these lights are. I'm gonna have to turn off some of the torches. So let me get a little ways over there and do much the same thing. Yeah, so E3 apparently coming out, what, the week before? Or two weeks before No Man's Sky comes out. And I'm like, you know, Sean, don't bother doing a release. You don't need to do another E3 release if it's going to be that darn close to the game release. You know, it's, just, it's going to be completely pointless. Just release the game, let us play it, and let us have some fun, right? And that's actually what I think they should do. Just, just go ahead and release the game. Don't even bother doing another E3 reveal. Although I think they're going to do one only because, you know, publicity, it makes sense. It really does make sense to have an extra reveal. Yeah, I think that would do it. This is going to be so nice. I wonder if I should use glowstone on the outside. A little bit over there. That would be interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off some of the lower level lights. I'll be right back. I'm going to take off my scaffolding. Oh my god, guys. I was about to turn on the video. And I saw something. And it creeped me out. Right there. It's a creeper. He spawned. I was like, oh no. And it's actually dark too, and I don't have the best of um, lives or anything. And I don't know how he spawned, but I think he spawned because of this area here. So we're going to need an extra light here. What I'm doing, by the way, is I'm resetting the light quite a bit. I should stick probably a piece of dirt right there. Um, yeah, I'm resetting the light quite a bit. And if you notice, all of these lights here are recessed, so you can't see them except for these ones. I haven't yet to do those three. Um, so let me show you what I'm doing. Basically, I'm just digging a hole like this. One, two. Oh my goodness, it went right into this. Oh gosh, okay. One, two, three would be here. Oh wow. Okay, well that's a not very good place. One, two, three. Three would probably be better right there. Okay, let's go fix that. I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, three is going to be here then. I think. This is a better place? Let's go with this one. Well, anyway, so what I was doing is I was resetting this about three down. And so that way, it would have a better way of being hidden. Especially when the lights are much further down than this one is here. This one I don't think I have much of a choice with, um, only because it just unfortunately happened to be right smack where that um, thing is. Well, that's just sad. I want this tree to grow at least. Yeah, so that's, that's just sad right there. Anyway, so yeah, that should fix the creeper problem at least from spawning. I've got to do this one here eventually. And I've got to do these, like at least some more lights out here. Just, oh, no, 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 get away, get away, get away. Ah, okay, no, 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 you don't. No, creeper, no. Jeez, okay. This is turning into an unsafe grotto now. This is not the point of a grotto. The grotto is supposed to be a safe place for me. Oh my God, it's the second creeper that tried to do this to me. Thank goodness when I saw that creeper, I was like right here, I was like, oh no, creeper. And then I started running up here and the creeper can't jump, thankfully. Thankfully, creeper can't jump. But this is going to make for a great ending to my episode. And this guy, I don't know if he's going to survive. I'm going to find out when I log off and eventually come back on. Will he still be there? If he is, then cool. I'll probably put a recess lighting there. If he's not, then oh well. Um, in the meantime, let me go ahead and deal with the rest of the lights here. This happens to be a perfect tree right now. It's going to get me to my next light. So I'm going to finish off the recess lighting. And then I will show you a couple other things before I call it quit tonight. Alright, stay tuned. Okay guys, we're about done with this project. 
This cave's actually pretty well lit, quite frankly. Um, I don't think anything was spawned here now, but I'm still not entirely sure about that. What I'm making it to do is just flood this cave with a bunch of grass and flowers. Mostly grass. Um, cause I just, I just like the grass look. I'm just afraid I'm probably gonna die because of creepers and whatever, but um, it would kind of give it a cool grassy kind of feel. Especially for the high grass. I don't know about the high grass. We'll see about that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of flood this whole thing full of awesome grassiness. Cause that's essentially what it is, right? And that one feet will eventually change down the road. Um, I put a giant lake here. If you can see, there's hidden lighting in the corners of the lake and it gives it kind of a nice little glow to it. And let's, just, let's see if we can get some grass up there. Perfect. And some up here. Perfect. Awesome. Now this is looking fantastic. Look at how nice this is. This is awesome. This is just awesome of a build, right? It looks super nice. Especially with the like, flowers hanging out on the sides and some other stuff hanging out. Now I could just cut out some of the grass until I get some, you know, decent flowers popping in. I wonder if I can put some grass up there. That'd be kind of cool. And we're going to put as much grass as we can in as much areas as possible. Yeah, this is super nice. Look at this. This is actually absolutely gorgeous right now. Okay, guys, I am just amazed by how this turned out. Just simple grass. Just simple grass to turn this thing into a amazing build already. I don't even have any vines. That's the amazing part. Okay, I don't want to die here because I know I know some creeper is going to sneak up on me, destroy my build, but look at this. Look at how nice this is. I just want to whisper the entire time I'm in here. There's just something, there's just something awesome about this. The, the moon's slowly setting, but look at how pretty this is. There's like bits of wildflower, grass everywhere. You can see where the hidden light there is. I put a sign here. I changed it from the zombie spawner to Koi's Hidden Grotto. Um, I've got a building here and the building totally, totally fits. I can't believe how well this is fitting right now. This is just like amazing right now. Look at this. And the entire top of the building and I put hidden lighting all over the place. You can see bits and pieces where it's at. I don't know if I need one more hidden lighting right around there. I might want to install one just for the sake of it. I've got a pond where I can go fishing, right? I don't need a pier or anything. I can just kind of hang out like right here on the stone brick here and just fish away. Um, I just don't want to talk. I just want to be silent, listen to the water here, and just, just enjoy this. I mean, this is really peaceful. I wasn't thinking this would be this peaceful. This is totally perfect, exactly what I was looking for. Um, I do think I want that extra hidden lighting. Where did I say we're gonna be? I don't know, it's supposed to be somewhere, maybe like right up there in that little nook right there. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, if you like how this turned out, do give me a like, do give me a subscribe, and definitely leave me a comment. I want to hear what your thoughts are about this thing. This is absolutely gorgeous. Eventually I'll get some vines and maybe just like put them on the walls or something and just have vine draping down a few areas in the wall. Um, I don't know what else I can do in here. This just, this just, this is just stunning. This is just stunning. I'm impressed by this. Anyway, guys, sun's coming up. It's 10.30 at night. I'm going to call it quits and I hope you love this episode. See you later. Bye. I added a little bit more greenery on the outside. I just think it needs a little bit more green. Which is actually nice. I put a little bit there. I wonder if I should add just a little little touch there. And I don't know. I think that will cover most of it, I think. Yeah, I think I'll add just a touch right there. And that will cover all the greenery I need. And plus, it gives me another area of hidden lighting. It would be kind of cool. Maybe maybe down here? Yeah, right here would be good. Alright, guys. I, ho I hope really, really hope you guys love this. I really do. This is probably going to be one of my more favorite builds. I have many favorite builds already, and this is just turning into one of them. It, it totally is. I'm just, I'm just impressed. Turns out the little guy is gone. Too bad. I actually liked him. The only way, honestly, I would have been able to keep him was probably with the main tie, quite frankly. That would probably be the only way to do it. Oh well. Was fun while it lasted, right? <laughs>